Remember in 2023, everyone was talking about SARMs? Well, now we have peptides, and it seems like every douche in these dog is pushing them at the moment. People are out here shouting claims like it's the next cure for cancer, but they forget to use the word maybe. And hopefully the outcomes they claim that these peptides offer will play out in the near future. But as of right now, some of them have no complete trials on humans. For example, MOTC and SLU PP332. Heck, not even BBC157 is approved for human use yet. Without the human trials, we don't have much to go by in respect to whether or not they do carry these benefits, the possible risk, or even effective dosages. I get that people are trying to avoid using AAs or relying on them solely for performance or cosmetic benefits, but at least we have the data there to be aware of the risk associated with these compounds, whether that be cardiovascular risk, renal toxicity, or hepatic toxicity, and we can track these with appropriate blood work, echocardiograms, and calcium ion scores. But unfortunately, when it comes to many of these peptides, we don't really know what the risks are that we're monitoring for or how to avoid them, other than just waiting until we have more data to go off. 